See, that is the point. That is the point, Karunanandi. My point is the answer to every, every issue that has been highlighted here is the law. If someone is guilty, if somebody is hiding identity, if a rogue element has entered a Garba event and is groping women, if a person is pelting stones at a Garba event, the law has ample provisions for action to be taken. But when flogging starts happening in the open, in an extrajudicial manner, what are we to make of this? We are to recognize that in the state of Gujarat, when cow vigilantes in 2016 assaulted um, a number of Dalit Gujaratis for skinning the carcass of a cow in Mota Samadhiala mm. village, right? Oh, and no. the type of larger sung support that Gauraksha got, that the impunity there comes out in the impunity here. That when you have a culture of impunity against, you know, allowed to a particular majoritarianism, and when you allow it to not only seep into, but to take over elements, not entirely, but to take over elements of the state, then you have quite a terrifying situation because the state has a lot of power, mm. right? And also it's very clear that you never know when that state power is going to turn against you. Because today it could be these men who are also accused of something which is very much a crime. That you can't throw stones in a, a festival or a religious event, right? Um, but you also had these vigilantes assaulting and flogging, in fact, these Dalits people. You also have the police that is accused of, that the government of Gujarat, which is currently uh, being accused quite rightly of taking over the jurisdiction mm. from the Maharashtra government mm. and letting free the rapists of Bilkis Bano in collusion with the union government, taking over the jurisdiction. Because the jurisdictions, let, let us be clear, was the Maharashtra government's 